Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm still taking advantage of the Steam Next Fest and I wanted to try Potionomics. There's been a lot of potion brewing games as of late and uh, some are going to be better than others and this one looked really good so I wanted to try this one. So let's dive into it. The final Potionomics experience will include 20 unique craftable potions and more than 100 ingredients. My dearest Sylvia, Greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potions shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven, the witch, cre witch queen, fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this a land like no other. Who knows what riches await me. Love your mother, dearest niece. Thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyways... Keep at it, it warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paper, paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally re reality. We open our doors tomorrow, wish me luck, although what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. If you're reading this, it uh, means I'm dead, <laughs> which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. De dearly departed Oswald. Sylvia. That's what that says. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. I, I actually didn't uh, know that there was like a style shift when it came to the game versus some of the cinematics, but I did know that this game had some really, really impressive animation in it. So um, it definitely drew me in, but also I just really like potion brewing games. They uh, they really do it for me. This is my inheritance. I would have been better off living in my parents' basement. I also really like kind of wholesome games that are um, have you kind of task you with like chores that, uh, you know, see you progress and... Uh, you know, almost like an Animal Crossing thing or a Stardew Valley thing. I recently played uh, Dredge, which was a recent, uh, a really good take on the whole thing, where you're you're kind of given chores, but uh, you you progress through upgrades and and your chores get easier and you get more complex tasks. I, I appreciate that kind of format. I would have been better off living in my parents' basement. It's bad enough that the shop is in disrepair, but it did I have to be saddled with Oswald's unpaid debts too? Thought this was going to be my lucky break. Instead, I'm stuck cleaning up this mess. Let's not speak ill of the dead now. Your uncle, I'm sure he'd do a lot of things differently, but he was a fine man and he only wanted the best for you. Easy for you to say he probably gave you all the mice you could eat. Preposterous. I wasn't some lowly pet. I was, well, it was his business partner. The brains of this whole operation. The operation that's currently insolvent. Is that the operation you mean? There were... Unforeseen challenges. Oh, did you get visited by the G-Man? But now you're here. And between us, we have everything we need to turn this place around. And I guess I do my, know my way around a cauldron. I have the business acumen if you'll need. Uh, you'll need if you're going to make your potions profitable. The sun's coming up, so we should get started. You know what they say? Early bird catches the operating profit. What do you call a magical owl? Houdini. That's much better than a useless game tip that I would have already figured out on my own. Next fest is in full swing. Thank you for taking the time to try Potionomics. Any day. Oh, I lo I gotta say, I, I love the look of this. This is... This is fantastic. Let's head over to the cauldron and start a brewing. Brew. Um, how, do, how do we do that? Oh, brew. We don't move, we just we just click the brew button. Only smart and beautiful people with great taste play potionomics. Well, thank you very much. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. You'll have to make do with those for now. We're in luck. 
These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana. Hey, I know of a really good recipe for a potion. You take some coffee beans and grind them up, and then you uh, strain them, and then you take some cream and some sweetener. Listen, I'm just saying I, I needed some caffeine. I'm good now. These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana potions. Oh, do tell. Haven't learned the basics yet. Every magical ingredient contains magimins. Oh no. Um, are these like, um, God, what were those called? Uh, what were they called? The force mites? <laughs> Uh, everyone, everyone is still mad that the force is, is made up of magimins. Arcane essence needed to craft or create viable potions. And it's the specific combination of magimins that will determine what kind of potion you'll create. To make a mana potion, you need roughly equal quantity of green and yellow magimins. Are we gonna, like, Tetris them together, kind of like in Dr. Mario? We put these ingredients in the cauldron and we can check the ratios before we commit to the brew. There's been a lot of brewing games lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know if maybe there's a, a huge call for brewing games, or maybe there's just a huge trend amongst devs to want to make a brewing game. But anyway. So are we putting them in by hand? We sure are. Fortifies your hero's health by five. Yeah, doesn't. I don't think it matters where we put them. So we need uh, green magimins. Uh... I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Total Magimin 6. Um, we, okay, we need more stuff. Are we just, like, putting everything in here? The ratio of Magimins looks perfect. This will make three minor mana, mana potions of high quality. I'll set the ca cauldron to brew. Looking good. Now we've just got to give the cauldron some time to do its thing. I know just what to do while we wait. Um, fast forward the brewing period by buying some zappy points. Just insert your credit card number here. I'm, I'm kidding, of course, but man, have, <laughs> waiting mechanics have, have really kind of been uh, tainted for me, but I, I'm assuming there's a reason for it here. So we're waiting. You'll be able to customize your shop with cauldron shelves, wallpaper, flooring, and more in the released version. Your pauldrons will be, your potions will be your pauldrons. And the, can we, in the meantime, <laughs> oh my God, words are really difficult right now. Do you have a words potion I could, I could do, I could use? Arrange potions, makeshift shelf. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Yeah. Nice. I love the juice in this game. It's It feels really squishy and satisfying. Good, now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. I'm really glad they went with the name like Potionomics and not just Potion Selling Simulator. Because this game's got a lot more character to it than just being another kind of faceless simulator. Open the shop. Are we going to have a, a bartering minigame? I do love a bartering minigame. My, my first shift, I hope I'm ready for this. You are. You must be. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling. Oh good, bartering minigames. It's the art of negotiation with a customer in order to get the highest possible sum for your potion. Interest is the key to raising the price of a potion. As you increase a customer's interest, you will also increase the perceived value of the potion. Sorry, I have a cat here now. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. If your patience, their patience reaches zero, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. Of course, customers have strategies of their own, among other tactics to try to inflict stress upon you. The more stressed you are, the more problems you'll have. Got all that? Just remember, raise their interest without burning through all their patience. Here comes one now. You've got this. I used to buy from your uncle. I see talent runs in the family. Peppy customer. I love it. Let's talk money. I love the animations in this game. It like really didn't need to be this extra, but I, I really appreciate how extra it is. Oh, 
It's very, like, everything has got a layer of expression to it that, you know, it's, it's really, it's really nice. Uh, so we got, we've got cards, raise interest by four if opener, apply, set them up. So we've got maybe a deck building mechanic in this game. You've made an excellent selection. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have your attention, I can reel them in. Raise interest by eight. But, um, where is their interest? The patience is at seven. That's all I have for now. Gotta brace myself for th their turn. Gain two shield. It really, it really is uh, a deck building game. Okay. Water off a of Drake's back. Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. I probably deserved that. Sylvia's turn. Good thing I was ready for that. Well, otherwise, I'd be stressed. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. Raise interest by nine. Close sale. Do we don't want to do other things, like set them up or anything? No. Game is certain to tell me how we're going to do this. I'm sort of feeling it. I can't wait to try it. I don't know if they built, <laughs> bought a healing potion or some kind of Dziac. Come back soon. Come on up. Whoa. This character's got a look. It's such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Saffron. I'm fascinated by how quickly the town has grown. At this rate, it might encroach upon my forest home soon. You live in the forest. I do. I'm a carpenter by trade and mostly self-sufficient. But brewing potions is a special skill and one that I lack. Would you care to tell, sell me this? So this is, it's, it's my turn now. Stalwart, customer buff. Prevents the next debuff from taking effect on the customer. Um, think, I love, man, everything has got a level of polish to it that is just like absurdly nice. Um, we can close the deal, completes the sale of the potion. Let's uh, take some time, draw a card, uh, reel them in, sounds good. There's no better potion for you, that's just about worth the trip. Um, this will use one patience, but it will uh, brace ourselves for their portion. Let me think about this. What can I say to convince you? I guess uh, we also get to see what, uh, how much money they're willing to spend and how we're improving them. Raise interest by four. If opener applies, set them up. Um, but they have a thing that uh, prevents debuffs, so I'm not sure if this is worth it. Increases interest applied by reel them up. Reel them in by 20%. Let's see if that works. So their patience is at six. Um, interest, raise the customer's interest and fill the bar to increase the potion selling price, right? Um, this will use up quite a bit of interest. I'm tempted to do real amend. I kind of want to draw, try and draw our, uh, close the deal, but we can close the deal anyway. So we can just try and raise the interest. That'll raise it by another heart. If I can, um... Draw just the perfect card, there it is. Close it out. Raise interest by nine and then close the sale. What do you say? Sounds sweeter than a rose in something. Thank you, I'm quite happy with this. Have a nice day. Step right up. Greetings, Tussless One. I am Muktuk. Like you, I am an artisan newly arrived upon these shores. I am eager to test your wares for potion crafting as a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. And yet I cannot help but notice. You appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Yeah, my cauldron's seen better days, but the chewing gum seems to be holding it together so far. You must visit my stall in the marketplace to discuss an upgrade. But for now, commerce. But for now, commerce. Alright, so let's let's do it. Reel them in. Uh, your words have fanned the flames of my interest. Um, and the turn, that's going to eat some patience up. My forge is cooling as we speak. I'll try to hurry. This is our stress. The current odds of drawing a stress card whenever a card is drawn. I see. So the more stress we are, the more we have a chance of drawing stress cards. So, uh, oh, I should have, I, I guess this is an opener, but we do, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to close the deal now. 
Take it or leave it. Your words have fanned the flames. All right. That sounds like a good deal. Come back. That's all of them for now. The uh, the selling portion of this game is actually really compelling. Um, generally, I have found in the past, and this is not a dunk, but it's, you know, my experience is that a lot of potion brewing games kind of put all of their eggs in the potion brewing aspects. I do appreciate, uh, like potion, um, what is it called? Potion something. Potion Craft does a great job of making all of its mechanics pretty compelling, like farming, brewing, and uh, and selling. I have had my reservations about the selling portion, but nonetheless, it has good mechanics. But I find a lot of potion brewing games put a lot of their eggs in the brewing aspects of the game, and not uh, not a lot of thought or depth into the selling aspects. Um, and I appreciate that this game has kind of almost put everything on the selling, and the brewing part is, th I'm sure there's gonna be some depth, but um, you know, it, it's it's not all about the brewing aspects. I'm interested to see maybe in the future how we get ingredients. Maybe that'll be another portion of this game, but for now, this is, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing here. What did you think, Owl? Not too shabby. Uh, for a first effort, that went well, but I have notes. Of course you do. You'll find that there are times when your usual tricks aren't working, when you don't like any of your options. When that happens, don't be afraid to take a breath. D dig deep and take a mental mulligan. Discard entire hand. Draw a new card for each card discarded. I love that it's just like flipping the table. Almost. That's cool. It's not bad advice, actually. I look forward to seeing you put it to use. Why don't you take a breather? I'll holler when the cauldron is done brewing. Enjoy the sneak peek of Potionomica. Potionomics. Please tell your friends about it. I will. I'll tell all of my friends. Okay, you get the hang of this. I also think that... Um, from what I've seen, there are will be kind of like uh, dating sim aspects to this game, which if, you know, if done tastefully, can can really do a lot to, to spice up a game. I know there, that's been um, one of those things that have been trending a little bit lately as well. Like I can't remember the name of it, but it was like Dungeon Boyfriend or something, where you your your weapon was you know a, a, your boyfriend, which a lot of people seem to like. I didn't play it myself, but. That's not, <laughs> that's not a, okay, listen. Hey, what's the big deal? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can, I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's some, been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know a condemned building, building when you see it. Maybe your arrival isn't a bad news. You're obviously some kind of potion witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of drugs. I'm selling drugs. Care to buy some drugs? Look at that face. You know that they're buying. They're selling drugs. They're selling magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions? You should kick some business my way. Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call the move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Oh, new card, plant the seed. You know, I think I will use that, but where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Look forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Great tip! Wishlist Potionomics on Steam! That's called planting the seed. Good job on your first set. Your potions aren't quite ready. Why don't you travel and visit some of the new vendors you met? Who knows, you might learn a thing or two and foster some relationships. Quinn runs an ingredient shop. Purchase ingredients to give us... To give us gifts and remember, everyone will... Like something something? Okay, so... Um, we can't open the shop, we have nothing to sell. We're still brewing. But we can visit uh, Quinn's Ingredient Boutique. We meet again. Oh, cool. We got like a, a flying broom thing going on as well. We can give them something. Give a gr gift to strengthen your relationship. Best ingredients in town. Um, I really do love 
the little um, touches of detail here and there. Okay, so we'll probably need some more of these. And we'll need more of these, because at least I know that these two ingredients uh, make up a, a new potion. Um, we can also buy some other stuff, so we'll buy, we'll buy a couple of these, and I'll buy three of these as well. And now we'll leave, and I'm gonna go visit our walrus friend. How about that? I did a thing. I, yeah, like, this, uh, this game is really a cut above for the animation. But I'm glad it's no slouch when it comes to the mechanics as well. Okay, so purchase new equipment to place in the store via customization. It seems to me this is not available for us right now. Give an ingredient to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. Truly? For me? I accept your gift. Rank up. I can make time for a fellow artist. I'm wondering if we just need to make friends with them before we can, like, upgrade stuff. Rafta is indeed strange and delightful. Do you not find it so? In all my travels, I have seen no place like this. You've traveled a lot, then. I have, but that is not so unusual for a walrus. Those of us who seek excellence, who pursue mastery in our chosen field, must undertake a great pilgrimage, and mine has brought me here. Tell me more. I don't know much about walrus culture. Then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is a remote place marked by its harsh climate. We are welcoming of outsiders, yet receive few visitors. And so we take it upon ourselves to spend, send our best and brightest out into the larger world as emissaries and pilgrims. We travelers are charged with a great and holy purpose. We are meant to spread our expertise far and wide to dedicate ourselves to service in foreign lands as a path to self-improvement and enlightenment. Some of us have devoted ourselves to medicine, some of, us, some of us philosophy, while others have created artworks of such indescribable beauty you would weep to look upon them. And that's why you're here to share your artistic talent? You are correct. My pilgrimage has brought me to Rafta's shores, and here I shall remain until I have created a masterpiece. But to create something more remarkable than the land itself, this will be a challenge. People will tell you that Rafta is a wild place, chaotic. But in fact, the opposite is true. For this island was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch. Maven carved out the mountains. She charted the course of the rivers. The very flora and fauna have their origins in her lab. She had the right idea. I see the appeal of having a whole island to play with. I do as well. For the grander the canvas, the greater the impact. This, then, is what Rafta means to me. It is a living artwork. Upon its every surface, I see the mark of its maker. I like a guy who knows what he likes. You're very passionate, aren't you? I cannot hide my enthusiasm for such topics, and I think that I should not try. Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. Enthusiasm. Raise interest by 16. I'll try to remember that when I'm back at the shop. Routine can make it difficult, I know, but we must do all we can to muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is all around us. This is what travel teaches us, in the end, to look around with hungry eyes to see, truly see a place, and to find joy in all that is different and strange and new. <laughs> Only smart and beautiful people play potionomics. Now that you're back, we can bottle the new potions. Head on over to the cauldron and prepare the potions for sale. Brew. I compel you to buy potionomics. Is it working? Uh, the mo mana potions are done cooking. I'll bottle them up. The ratio of magimins uh, was perfectly balanced, so these should be high quality potions. Let's see. Three minor mana potions. Superb brew. Those are very good potions. Considering our limitations, a cauldron that holds more ingredients would allow you to make potions of higher tier. But that's tomorrow's problem. Today, we should sell what we have at the best price we can. But we should also throw some more stuff in here to make 
some more of that. Balance of Magimins is perfect. Potion gains two additional stars on completion with a chance of gaining a bonus star. Make what you know for now. I kind of hope that um, maybe the full version of this game has like mechanics that uh, force you or at least um, um, what's the like encourage you to to do other potions or follow other um, recipes because like you know customers might get bored of the same thing every day. This is going to be one of those things where I say I want that and then it shows up in the next scene, aren't you? Sylvia needs to put potions on display. Oh, I thought I did that in the open shop. Oh, arrange potions. There we go. When haggling, remember to use the new tips you've picked up. Applying what you've learned will be critical to coming out ahead. Uh, I wonder if I have to like put those in my deck. Or if I can just, if I just get them. Oh wow, is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day and now. Potions. My name's Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident, I mean I literally live here. I'm Mint, a hero in training. I'm going off on an adventure and I need your strongest potion. All right. Uh, they've got the hook system. What does this mean? Customer is it going to increase Sylvia's stress. Um, I could close out. 40 is fine. But I would like to, you know, obviously do better than that. So let's end the, the deal. The, end the turn, sorry. Gee, haggling with a friend sure is stressful. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Okay, we have enthusiasm. Raises the interest by 16. Um, they have eight patients, so we can uh, afford that. Apply plant the seed for three turns. Raises interest by eight at start of turn. So we could... Um, finish this up and in fact this would raise their interest by enough to yeah to fully interest them so we get full marks here you're a lifesaver sylvia come back soon who's next greetings and salutations it is i baptiste as a guild master for the local chapter of the heroes guild it's my duty and my privilege to welcome you to rafta Thank you for saving me a trip. I figured I'd drop in on the guild soon, where I come from. Heroes really like their potions. It's doubly true here on the edge of civilization. My heroes rely on potions to survive the monster-infested wilderness outside our town's borders. What are you asking for this lovely dollop? Discard entire hand, draw a new card for each card discarded. Well... They're... Reduce all interest gained by 25%. This uh, mulligan would actually be a pretty good idea. There we go. We can raise interest by 16. Um, raise by nine, close sale. Not a terrible idea, but I like to push my luck a little bit. I've done my research. I never doubted your intelligence. So they some, sometimes they apply their own buff, and that is going to decrease the amount of interest that I'm able to garner. So we could maybe, um, well, we only get one, we're running out of patience a little bit. I'm going to have to end the turn here if I have any hope of gaining more interest. I'm not sure you're on top of things today. Do I seem that flustered? So we have 5% stress now. So they only have one uh, patience left. So I don't know if I use anything at all, it probably will kill their interest. So let's just close the deal. Deal. You're a pro, Sylvia. Come back soon. Who's next? And the character design on all of these characters is really well done. Sylvia, right? Welcome to our up and coming little town. 
I'm Luna, founder and sole proprietor of Rafta's newest and best and boldest marketing agency. I don't know much about marketing. I thought I'd just leave myself a bunch of fake reviews. I can do better than that. Let me know if you need help getting your message out there. I can show you how to cut through the noise of a crowded marketplace. She's got like kind of a moth thing going on. I'm not here just to give you my pitch. Are they like a marketing moth? All right, raise interest. Oh, let's like absolutely just destroy them. Oof. Uh, well, we won't quite get full marks, but this is good enough. I will cherish it forever until I drink it and it's gone, I mean. Thank you for your business. That's all of them for now. Only smart and beautiful people. <laughs> the more I read it, the, the just the more true it becomes. The glamorous life of a potions witch. It's not quite as I pictured. Uh-huh. Yo, it's Bayonetta. But it's Bayonetta, though. Hey, what do we have here? I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Uh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm your competition. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Or is your shop supposed to look like this? I know the place could use some work, but don't count me out just yet. I'm new to all of this, but I'm already getting the hang of it. You think so, do you? Well, think again. Rafta is a strange island, teeming with magic and mystery. There is a hearty demand for potions here, but the market is volatile, and demand can change as quick as the weather. Just when you think you've got your footing, this place will throw a curve your way. Now, personally, I know a thing or two about curves. Aha! Yo, that's funny. Don't worry about me, Roxanne. I can handle a bit of toil and trouble. Why don't you leave me to my business and go mind your own? If you insist, but I warn you, as of today, putting you out of business is my business. And business is looking very good. Can you believe her? The nerve. Are you really so surprised? It's nice that you met some friendly vendors to earlier today, but don't let that fool you. Business is all about competition. You won't make it very far if you're afraid of ruffling feathers. Who said I was afraid? I'm not backing down, not for Rogue Sand. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure they're... I'm going to skip ahead, actually. As much as I enjoy the... Oh, that's it, though. I shouldn't have skipped it. I thought that we were... <laughs> I thought we were moving towards... Um, the Basically, what I was talking about, where you want to kind of appease customers' wishes as opposed to just selling the same thing every day. I kind of wish there was a bit more in this demo, but um, that's not to say I don't like what I've seen. I just want to see more because I really, really, really like this game. Um, I'm excited to, to play more of this. Uh, have you played Potionomics? If you have, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.